Hey there, my name is Loggy, and I'm a log. I'm not a mathematical type of log. Those are exponents. I'm just a piece of wood. Today, I've decided to leave my home in the trees and go on an adventure. Legend has it that there is a secret, mysterious treasure somewhere near here. So, hopefully, if I look around long enough, I can find it. Let's go! There's no way I can jump that far. I'm gonna need some help to get over this thing. Uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Sign Guy, and I'm the so part of Team Sokatoa, because the sine s of an angle of a triangle is equal to the opposite side O, divided by the hypotenuse H. Hey there, I'm Cosine Guy, and I'm the co part of Sokatoa, because cosine C is equal to the adjacent side A divided by the hypotenuse H. Hi, I'm Tangent Guy, and I'm the Toa part of Sakatoa because tangent T equals opposite O divided by adjacent A. What are you doing here? We're here to help. Using my trusty hand glider, I can fly a distance of 0.75 units, but I want to make sure I can make it before I try. We know that that sign forms a right angle with the ground, and that its top is 0.5 units off the ground. I can tell you that the tangent value of that angle is root 3 over 3. Tangent equals opposite over adjacent, so root 3 over 3 equals 0.5 over the adjacent side. Solving this gives root 3 over 2, or 0.866, to be the length of the adjacent side. That means that my hang glider won't reach. My only other option is my reliable grappling hook, which can fly in a straight line for exactly one unit. The only problem is, the only place I see that it can attach is the top of that sign. I know we could use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared to find the length of the hypotenuse, but... Wait, there's an easier way! With those measurements of that triangle, we know that this can form a unit circle. The radius of a unit circle is 1, so from here to the top of that sign is only one unit. We can make it! Yay! Whee! Wahoo! What? Okay then. If I try to go up an incline that's greater than 45 degrees, I could roll down and hurt myself. I can tell you that the sine of that angle is 0 0.7. But how can we find the measure of the angle when all we know is the sine value? When you want to find the angle measure, and all you know is the sine, tan, or cosine value, you can plug it into your calculator. In the sine, tan, or cosine to the negative 1 tool. Like this. Look, I have a 1 over my head. So I'm sine to the negative one, right? Like the inverse, right? Sorry, sign guy, but that's incorrect. Oh hey, I'm cosecant guy, I guess. As you can see, one over sine is equal to the cosecant, not the sine to the negative one, just as one over cosine is equal to the secant, and one over tangent is equal to the cotangent. So let's change it back. So that is your angle. Hey. The value of the angle is 44.43 degrees. That's less than 45. Let's go! So what are you searching for, anyway? Yeah. Yeah. It's a mystical treasure known only as... The Golden Lolly. 